Hi, it's Mary. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm pretty excited because we are going to make a model today of something that helps determine all of our physical characteristics. And I am talking, of course, about deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. So DNA kind of looks like a ladder that's been twisted. And the rungs of the DNA are made out of chemical bases. And the bases are adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. So let's get started. We are going to need a few things to make today's project. We'll need paper, scissors, a pencil, a pen, a ruler, some tape, and markers. And here's the procedure. We're going to draw a rectangle on the page that is 28 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So to make sure I'm getting it straight, I'm going to line this side of the ruler, the inch side, up with the little perforation on that side, and then draw a line that's 28 centimeters. I'm going to turn the page, and I'm going to make sure that that distance all the way down is the same. I'm going to make a mark at 6 centimeters. I'm going to put that edge at zero, make another mark at six centimeters. I'm going to draw another line across and then I'm going to connect them all the way. So I now have a rectangle that's 28 centimeters by six centimeters. I'm going to go along the top and then along the bottom and make marks every four centimeters. Then I'm going to make a mark every one centimeter along the short edge. I'm going to draw lines to connect my marks that are parallel to one another along the long edge. Then I'm going to go back and do the same thing with the ones I did the short way. So what we have now is a large rectangle that's 28 by 6 centimeters that contains 42 smaller rectangles inside. So these pen line marks are going to be the marks I'm going to use as my cutting guides. But I need to divide each of these in half, so I'm going to make a mark every two centimeters on both of the long edges and connect those, but I'm going to do that with pencil. So if you just lay it along, you're making marks at two centimeters, six centimeters, ten centimeters, fourteen, 18, 22, and 26. And we're going to do that on both of the long. So the pen marks are going to be a cutting and coloring in guide. And the paper, the pencil marks are just going to be a coloring in guide. So if you remember, our four bases in the DNA molecule were adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Adenine, so you can decide what colors you want to represent each of these bases. I'm going to go with pink for adenine, blue for thymine, yellow for cytosine, 
and green for guanine. Now, the really cool thing about DNA and part of what makes it work so well is that the adenine will only pair with the thymine and the guanine only pairs with the cytosine. So if I choose to color in this top one pink, looking at my color codes, this other one that's paired with it can only be thymine, so it will be blue. So go through and color in all of your rectangle. Now that you have them all colored in, you are going to cut them out. And this is where I use the pen marks as my cutting guide. So I'm only going to cut along the pen marks not along the pencil marks. The pencil marks were just to denote where each base pair was so that I knew to color the matching pair to that point. Now if you wanted to, instead of leaving the box the 42 rectangles all together, you could cut them separate and then color them in. That is your choice completely. So after I cut them all out, I just put them into two piles. The cytosine and guanine pairs are in this pile. The adenine and thymine pairs are in this pile. Now we want to measure the tape into 60 centimeter strips. So there's 30, there's 60. You can go a little longer and use that to help you hold down your strips. So you're gonna lay that on the table face up. And yes, this is very sticky. I use the ruler or the scissors, probably the ruler is better, huh? To help me hold that down. In fact, if you want to at this point, you can roll off, unroll a bit of the tape and use that to help you stick that side down. So what we're going to do here is use, this is going to be the latter part of the DNA molecule. These are going to be the rungs. So if you want to put one down already, just to get a gauge on how far apart to set your tape, you can do that. So that's 30. That's 60. And again, I'm going a little larger. So I have some on the end to help me keep that stuck down. And I'm just going to go a little under there. So that it stays stuck down. All right, so here's the fun part. You get to stick all of your bases onto the latter part of your molecule, your DNA model. So as you do that, it randomly stick them down, how, whatever order you want to do them in. The order that matters, like adenine, 
must be bonded with thymine on an individual base pair, but once you are putting them down, they can be in any order that you wish. And I'm going to tape down this side also. And I will come back when I have mine complete. So I'm almost done here. I'm going to give you the next step. So after you have all of your base pairs stuck on, you are going to remove the tape that was holding them down. And then you're going to take one side and flip that over and tape it down. So I think it's easiest to just go a little at a time there. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side and just fold that over and stick it down. And you're going to finish with what looks like a ladder. And that is your strand. That is your double stranded molecule. So that's your double-stranded DNA molecule. But if you remember, we said there was a twist in it. So this just looks like a ladder. A DNA molecule actually is what's called a double helix. So its form is twisted like that. So that is what a DNA molecule looks like. It's a twisted ladder, basically. So your DNA is contained in each of your cells. If your DNA is going to replicate, this is the cool part about the adenine only being able to bond with the thymine and the cytosine only being able to bond with the guanine. Because what it will do is unzip. So where you have the base pairs, it's going to come apart. And the opposite of that base pair is going to come in and match with that. So where you have the thymine, an adenine will match with it. And where you have the cytosine, a guanine will match with it. Or where you have the guanine, a cytosine will match with it. So you only need one half of your DNA molecule for your DNA to be able to replicate. So DNA holds all of your physical traits and your characteristics, your physical characteristics. And now you know a little bit more about the shape of the molecule and the bases that form it. Next time we'll have another fun activity and I hope that you will join us. So DNA is something that geneticists look at a lot. And if you are interested in DNA and how traits are carried on from one person to the next, then looking into genetics is probably something that you'll want to do. And I hope you'll take some time to investigate that. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you again next time.